In today's video, I'm feeling nostalgic and I'm going to go play Minecraft version 1.0 and try to survive 100 days. This version came out in 2011 and is nearly 12 years old. I played it at the time as I've had Minecraft for quite a while as I'm also very old. But I played so much Minecraft recently that I've completely forgotten everything that is different. This is going to be painful, so make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So here we are on version 1.0. Look at all this minimal stuff we can change when creating the world. Basically nothing. But we called the world 100 Days of Pain, selected Hardcore, and then set the seed as Joel the Best. And then we clicked Load on that world, and it built the terrain super quickly in comparison to Minecraft today. However, our skin was missing, as you can see here with Steve. And listen to this. I was genuinely quite confused. What? No. For some reason, walking sounds like breaking dirt in today's Minecraft, so that confused me very much so. So after changing some of the sound settings, I got working on the basics. I got confused straight away again by trying to make a crafting table by dragging it, as you can see there, to realize you have to click it in individually per block. I then did the exact same thing again while trying to make sticks. <laughs> now you'll find that everybody who plays Java Minecraft on PC will use control to sprint, but that doesn't work in this version. Instead, you have to double tap W, which is very inconsistent and annoying. So as I'm trying to kill this pig here, you can see I'm struggling quite a lot. <laughs> Also, I haven't played pre-1.9 combat in ages, and killing everything was just a massive struggle. Still not learning, I crafted myself a pickaxe by individually clicking in those blocks, collected some stone to make myself a stone pickaxe, and then went and investigated this weird block. I was like, what on earth is this? Turns out, it's gravel. I genuinely thought it was andesite, although I'm not sure if andesite's in the game at this point. Luckily though, there was some iron in this cave that I was in, so I collected some of that, plus some coal to smelt it. Does fortune exist? In this? I don't know, but either way, we're nowhere near that yet. I then made myself a furnace very awkwardly and got smelting some food and also crafting some other tools. Swords are very OP in the early game, I found. Look at how quickly I kill this pig. And the first thing I normally craft in hardcore is a shield, but of course, they don't exist. But I put my iron on to smelt anyway, went exploring a little bit and remembered, oh yeah, swimming also doesn't exist, which is really painful. Gathered some ugly looking sugar cane and then killed some sheep to get some wool for a bed. Also, I'm not sure if it's perspective, but I feel like the reach isn't as far as it is in current Minecraft. I thought I'd be able to reach this, but I can't. I crafted an iron chest plate and some legs individually placing each bit of iron in there. Yes, I'm still not over this. And I know it's only day one, but I was getting really annoyed already. I keep thinking someone's digging around me. But it's just me walking. Anyway, I slept and ended the first day. And speaking of days, there's no day tracker in the F3 menu on here. So you're just going to have to trust me. And I'm a YouTuber. Would I ever lie to you? Speaking of lying, if you all subscribe right now, I will give you all one million pounds. I decided not to settle down straight away and instead go exploring and looking at the biomes and found loads of glitch textures instantly. I got some seeds, then found some birch wood to realize it only made just wooden planks, then took some damage and listened. Ouch, that sounds horrible. I spotted a village in the distance. Ooh, exciting. And then got instantly distracted by this awful lava texture. But I approached the village and instantly remembered how ugly these things are. But I spotted a blacksmith villager, so tried to trade with him. And yeah, I, um, nothing happened. But hopefully there'll be a chest in the blacksmith, right? No, no, there's no chest either. Maybe the librarian villager will trade with me? No, no, once again, nothing. I then googled it to find out trading wasn't introduced till 1.3. Oh dear. But I stole some books in hopes that enchanting exists and then went and looked at some more dodgy world generation before stealing the wheat, which you have to do in every village. You have to manually, individually click each wheat though. And I also noticed just walking over crops just turns it into dirt. What? I then spotted a swamp nearby and just was marveling how ugly this green is on this grass. I kept adventuring and looking for new stuff in case there was any. I found some pumpkins. I also went in this cave here and just laughed at how silly the creepers bounce back from you. <laughs> but funny creepers aside, I collected some iron in this cave. I also had my first creeper explode on me, but it didn't do much damage. I also found that mobs just really have weird pathing and struggle to get to a lot of time, which is kind of funny. I also discovered dead bushes don't drop sticks, which is weird, but I made myself some iron armor. But why does it shoot the iron out of a crafting table? Watch this. Bam, it doesn't go in your invention, it shoots it out. So annoying. Anyway, I made some iron tools and a bucket to get some water. And look how weird water interacts. This wouldn't happen. That would just stay a full source block in normal Minecraft. It's, it's really kind of odd. I had to test if an unlimited water source worked though, and it did. So that was a nice surprise. 
Oh, and I also tested water bucket jumping, and yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong, but it, it's a bit dodgy sometimes. I, I just keep taking damage. I did eventually get one there, though, but still, very weird. Speaking of water, look at this big ocean, a new biome, and I thought I'd make myself a boat, and then I forgot how terrible boats are. They are, one, really slow, like the same as running speed, and two, they have these really weird effects, and when you reach an island, of course, you bounce off mobs, which is really fun, and then you can't get out of the boat. You can see me trying here to shift out. It wouldn't work. I had to break it and then it turns into sticks and planks. Really, really cool. Anyway, I was having fun with my new iron sword, which occasionally would one hit cows. I didn't understand. It sometimes worked, sometimes didn't. And how did that cow get in that tree? The vines don't work. So how did the cow get up there? I want to know because I can't get up there myself. But after lots of exploring, I found this area here, which shows all the biomes we have. We got a bit of ocean. We got a swamp and we've got a forest. So I thought, you know what? This is a good place to make a base. So I put down my first chest and started filling it with rubbish and clearing out all the trees in the area as I need a space to build my base. Anyway, I also made myself some pickaxes and then we went and made ourselves a little strip mine. Got down to Y11 and uh, yeah, my pickaxe broke. But luckily I made another one and I went strip mining looking for my first diamonds and I found some redstone, which was new for me because I hadn't found that yet so far. I also got some lapis, which gives me hope that enchanting will be a thing. I didn't find any diamonds, however, so I went up and smelted my stone as I wanted to make some smooth stone for later. I also made some staircases so I could get down to my mine quicker. Look at this lava texture. Look how ugly it looks. It's so funny. I don't know why it made me laugh, but look, obsidian as well. That still works. And yes, I had discovered a cave here. You can see me battling with this creeper because they're just so funny. And look, diamonds. Of course, I'm going to get my first... Oh, no, it's falling in the lava. Great, that went flying. So I made sure to uh, secure the next one and we got our first diamond finally. We could have had two, but no, we've got one. But luckily I found some more really close by next to this lava here and we actually managed to get three from there. Ooh, fun. For some reason, ravines are really scary. I'm not sure if it's because they're so dark or the fact that mobs just drop on you constantly. But anyway, back on the surface, we started collecting some materials for our base and I tried to tame that wolf and it didn't work. I managed to get myself some clay though for some bricks as they do exist, which is really good. Got myself some spruce logs, made myself a wooden door, which by the way, when you make these stuff, you only get one wooden door. Same with the slabs. Look, you get three slabs from three cobblestone blocks. Nightmare. But oh well, we work with what we work with and I got making my base here, which honestly, it's going to be a struggle to make anything look good. As slabs don't work properly, I struggled even to make fences for a while until I realized that it was all sticks and that's how you make fences. But I was really, really struggling as you can see here. But look, six sticks makes two fences. How weird. I'm going to use the slab. I do have though to detail which is not many and uh, it will look weird as they can only go on the bottom layer But we're gonna try our best also stone makes smooth slabs, which is just awful as well But we're gonna use those as well as we don't really have any mini options to be honest And you can kind of see the front of our house taking shape here stairs. However, I hate them look at them They don't work properly glass Glass panes work though, that's good. Although the glass texture is kind of horrible. I haven't really talked about all the textures so far, but they are all just not good. The new textures are so good. They did such a good job in 114 with the new textures as these ones really, like the leaves especially, just look not as good in my opinion. Also chickens, right? Chickens don't care about seeds. They must use wheat or something. I think I actually tried it here. Yeah, wheat breeds chickens. Weird. Anyway, speaking of wheat, I decided to get some by making a little farm here, making sure it was all lit up and protected from mobs getting in, which turned out to be a, a bit trickier than I originally thought, as you'll see later. We did get hoeing the ground, though, and unfortunately, just walking over hoed ground turns it into dirt. It's a nightmare, so I had to build a path through it, but uh, you'll see later I figured out how to get past this. Something I forgot. It's been a long time. This game version came out in 2011, by the way. 2011. That's 12 years ago. Crazy. Anyway, we went for a little adventure as I wanted to get myself some sandstone. However, there was none underneath the actual sand. I did manage to find some eventually, though, right there. We also managed to craft some stone bricks, which are a thing. So we're going to be building out of those regular stone and gravel, as well as default cobblestone. We'll be using the sandstone and the sand, though, for our floor, making this sort of stripped pattern. This is like literally using 
nearly every block in the game, by the way. I was really struggling. Sometimes I complain that we have too much choice these days, but honestly, give me the choice any day over these blocks that we have right here. Anyway, at least I've improved my water bucket skills. Right no, I have not. They're, they're still terrible. But the house is coming along, which is good. I did a bit of more texturing with this gravel and stone bricks here, trying to make a interesting sort of look. Really wish I had some tough or some normal looking cobblestone right now instead of the ugly texture cobblestone that we currently have. But we still managed to use cobblestone on the outside to give a little bit of like, you know, extra depth to this build, which I was really struggling with because stairs don't go upside down, slabs don't work properly, water buckets sometimes do work properly, however, and uh, yeah, our farm, I was having a nightmare. Mobs kept getting in, kept trampling my crops, and by the way, you know how you normally get three seeds or so back from one bit of wheat? You normally only get one or no wheat seeds back. It's so annoying. Sometimes you get two, but it's very rare. Anyway, house, building, yeah, it's happening, and we're working on this sort of tower here, which we're probably not going to actually use. It's more just for decoration, but that's how I play Minecraft, so yeah, there you go. I'm not sure if ladders exist yet. I presume they do. I haven't really tried to make them yet, but I presume they work. We'll, 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 we'll check that later. Also, yes, I keep forgetting that water bucket tricks just don't work very well, so I I'm using dirt from now on. Time for the final touches on our house, however, with some plants and some leaves going up the wall to just, you know, try and decorate it in some way. I also came across this skeleton. And remember, you can block with swords, which is pretty interesting. And there's our house. Is it pretty? No. But I really tried. I promise I really tried. I'm not a terrible builder. I promise. Go look at my other stuff I built. I, this is this is, this is is me trying my hardest. Anyway, we've got to decorate the interior, of course. By the way, I'm so sick of placing each block individually in the crafting table. It's getting so annoying especially when you want to make lots of chests like I did just then. But we've got two floors in this house, an upstairs and a downstairs, and this is the guy who's been trampling my crops. I hate them, and I kind of figured out where they're coming in as well. It's over this bush here. I just didn't realize that I hadn't placed it double high. Oops. Anyway, we've got our bed in our house now, which is very nice, and we've also got ourselves some chests, which I started organizing. And that is one good thing about this version, is you don't have many items, so it's really easy to organize your chests. Honestly, all you need is one chest for cobblestone, so in one chest for dirt and then you saw it really it, it, it's very very nice I also made some bookshelves, but not enough to do some enchanting. So I decided to head off and make myself a new field. This field is going to contain some animals. So I used some fence this time to make sure nothing could escape. And after that, went and farmed my wheat. And you can see here the absolute terrible rates of seeds you get back. Like it's one seed per wheat. It's so infuriating. It takes so long to get any more seeds. Also, what on earth is going on with pigs? They don't seem interesting in wheat. I'm not sure if this is accurate. But anyway, we went and found some cats. Cows, and we found some that were interested in the wheat. Some others just didn't care whatsoever, though. I, I really didn't understand. But I managed to get this one cow back to the pen and locked him in nice and safely. And then I went looking for more cows. And I found this one here, and he hated me. He did not want to follow me whatsoever. I gave him a little punch and ran away looking for more. And it was ages until I found one in this plains by him here. But I got them with me, and then, oh my gosh, every mob on the server was following me. Cheap, chickens, everything. It was crazy. Uh, I had to kill some of the sheep and then by the time we got home we, we we lost a few cows Let's just say that they weren't losing interest in me They just kept falling down holes because their pathing is awful. Look at that one there. What an idiot Also pigs do like wheat it turns out. I, I just don't understand It seems when a cow has lost interest in you. That's it. That's it for good It will never find interest in you one ever again I don't understand what's going on but either way we got the cows home along with a pig and a chicken um, and then we made some torches as it's time to get some diamonds, baby. We've got kind of unlucky so far. We've only found eight when we've been doing lots and lots of strip mining. But we got strip mining again and right at the start of our strip mine. Look at this. Blooming diamonds right there. Ugh, wish I'd gone down that one first, but no, I went down the other side. Anyway, we got mining again, and yeah, we didn't get so lucky this time. I did actually find some obsidian, though, and used my diamond pickaxe to break it and collected a lot of it. It took quite a while, but we got it in the end. And by the way, you can't run upstairs in version 1.0, but what you can make is a diamond chest plate. Lovely. I used the obsidian I got to make myself the faithful nether portal lit it up, and luckily there's not a lot of stuff that will kill you in the nether, uh, but I I did spawn in straight away and instantly get attacked by a ghast, so that's really fun. But I was just looking around in Marvel. This place is absolutely hideous. The Never Now is not great, but it looks like a haven in comparison to this hideous Neverac texture. So I went straight home and went back to my mines as I thought, you know what, let's get some diamonds. Haha, <laughs> I also 
I caught fire and uh, forgot my water bucket, so I had to go get some more from the surface before sleeping and heading straight back down into the mines where we managed to find some diamonds, uh, one diamond to be precise, and then we just got unlucky. I did, however, find a slime though, killed the slime and got some slime balls. Uh, I'm not sure if sticky pistons are a thing. Maybe they are, but that's their only use in this. I found some diamonds, but spent lots of time not finding them. Another thing I've noticed is you just don't get XP from any block. Not coal, not lapis, not redstone, not anything. It's really quite frustrating as like, this is how I would normally get my XP, but the only way to get XP is from killing mobs. Oh, there goes another diamond. Uh, friendly or unfriendly, that's the only way to get it. There's no quartz in the nether, there's nothing. It's just, it's a nightmare. I don't know what to do. I guess we're gonna have to go kill a lot of mobs later, but I want to get enchanting at some point. Oh, and this is the point here where I figured out that you have to shift over wheat for it not to break. How did I not think of that before? Another thing I got confused with as well was books. I went to make a book like usual, didn't work. So uh, I tried a few different methods. Nope, doesn't work, doesn't work. Eventually Googled it, it's free paper makes a book, which I of course used to make my enchanting table. And by the way, enchanting tables are super weird. I put down 15 bookshelves at first, which is the standard today, and that didn't work. So I added about 30 bookshelves and now look, we got a level 35 enchantment, but it's just random each time. It's just completely and the make sense of it. But anyway, I used the rest of the diamonds to make some legs and then I decided, you know what? Let's go get some more, baby. And I actually found some, which is quite nice. It did take quite a while, as you'll see from me sleeping constantly, but we eventually got enough to make ourselves a helmet and some boots, giving us full diamond armor, which took so long to achieve. It's so hard to get diamonds. I also made myself a diamond sword. And by the way, cows are mental in this version. What are they doing? They just jump around and go crazy all the time. I don't understand them. But anyway, we're going to get building another building now. So I went and collected myself some clay and then I got working on it. And what we're going to be building is a barn here because we want to put our chickens somewhere. Uh, and I don't fancy putting them in a field because chickens are also mental and constantly try to escape. So I used some wood and tried to make a cool looking barn using trapdoors and trying to detail it. It's impossible to detail in 1.0, I find, but we give it our best shot. Also, if you're wondering still why I'm just placing myself sleeping, it's so you know that I actually played the full day and slept. That That's the way of me tracking this as well, because I, I forget what day we're on. But look, a barn. Is it cool? No, but it's a barn. And here is my little enclosure to put my chickens in there. I'm going to get some fresh air as these are free range chickens. Uh, but we use all the eggs we'd collected over time to get ourselves a load of chickens, as you can see here. We got quite lucky with some of the eggs, uh, then completely unlucky with others. I also made a pathway up to this barn just to link it up to everything, which was lovely, and collected some leaves and decorated the path with said leaves. But with cows, sheep, chickens, and pigs all using wheat to breed, I thought, you know what? It's time to make another wheat field. Also, all my cows keep escaping. I don't know how. It's a fully fenced off field. And because my wheat field is terrible at producing seeds, I had to go punch grass for a while till I got enough seeds to finish off my other wheat field and then place them down in my new wheat field. And after hoeing the ground a little bit, our area is looking rather cool. But the area looking cool and the cows constantly escaping aside, I thought, you know what? It's time we kill the ender dragon. So I started prepping. I thought I'd enchant my sword to find out. It uses all enchantment points. I used an 11 there and it used 11 enchantment points. Imagine if you have to do 30. That would be insane. But anyway, I found some diamonds in a mine shaft when I was looking for some string to make a bow, and uh, I found a lot of string. Don't worry about string. I also found myself a zombie spawner to use later, which would be quite useful for getting some more XP for said enchanting. In it had some cocoa beans, which looked really weird, and also a saddle, but there's no horses and there's no carrots, so what am I meant to ride? I don't understand. Either way, we also found a skeleton spawner, which I probably will use as bow will be a lot more useful, uh, so I'll just leave the zombie one behind. But I made myself a bow, used the diamonds I got to make an axe and a shovel as well, and then I tested out my accuracy skills, and no, the bows haven't changed, I'm just absolutely terrible. Yes, I also tried to enchant the bow, turns out that's not a thing, you can't do that, so I enchanted my axe instead and got efficiency one. Useless. Oh well. To kill the ender dragon, of course, you need blaze rods to make those eyes of ender. So we headed to the nether and I located a fortress. It was actually visible from the portal, which was nice. And uh, on the fortress, the only thing that spawns are blazes. So you have to worry about wither skulls. And also, I've realized diamond armor is incredibly OP. Like, these guys would hit me and I think they did half a heart. I'm pretty sure that's not the case these days. Like, I'm pretty sure they do a lot more damage. But look, they hit me there. I only took half a heart because I fell. They did less than half a heart. It's insane. 
but I got my first blaze rods. Cleared out the spawner as it was taking ages for them to spawn and got 11, which I'm sure will be enough for us to find the portal. I also collected some never wart and then headed home where a gas did attack me, but we were all fine and we managed to make it home safely. On day 38, I went to the desert and I started setting up some Enderman safe places to kill them because of course we need ender pearls because we have to get the eyes of ender and the only way to get ender pearls in version one is to kill endermen you can't trade with piglins and you also can't find them in the nether you have to find them in the overworld at night uh, and the desert's really good for this because you can see really far a plains biome's also pretty good but i realized endermen are idiots they're so bad in this version and so easy to kill they didn't do a single bit of damage to me all mobs are like really easy to kill i did only get two ender pearls on my first night though i spent 10 minutes hunting enderman and only got two pearls very disappointing but as you can see look how stupid they are they do like no damage even creepers when they blow up do like no damage i don't understand but we spent all night hunting enderman then had to get some more food the next day and then it turned night time once again and we got hunting those endermen sometimes by the way you'll hit an enderman it'll disappear and it'll never come back i don't understand but we did manage to get another two ender pearls this night i know again we've spent 20 minutes collecting ender pearls and we only get four i killed more endermen on night two but still just rubbish rubbish rates i was getting very unlucky on day 40 though we decided to tame ourselves some wolves as there was some nearby and i'd gotten so many bones from killing all the mobs in the night and i took my four wolves home because i thought you know what with these four ender pills we'll make ourselves some eyes of ender and we will get searching for that end portal and the end portal was back towards spawn eyes of ender i was thinking oh will they break and the first one didn't break but the second one did so um yeah they, they still break in this version unfortunately uh, i did get kind of lucky though and when it turned night on my way to the portal i killed some more enderman and this time i was much more successful as you can see i got way more pearls that creeper actually helped me out a little bit there and gave me a third one we got a total of five in one night how lucky is that pretty good but you can see what i mean here by the damage look at all that just happening to me and i'm still on full hearts i don't understand it's insane so our strategy at the moment is use the night to kill enderman and use the day to find the end portal and after a lot of searching with only two eyes of ender remaining we finally had an ender pearl go behind us as you can see here which means we've gone past the portal i started digging down and with quite a lot of luck i found it pretty much straight away very good in this chest there was an iron sword rubbish and an apple the bookshelves in here are great but the chests only have books because enchanted books don't exist yet so that the library room's pretty terrible no other chests in here that i could find either but i did manage to locate the parcel room after killing a load of mobs and uh, destroy the spawner and it had two eyes of ender in it which is quite nice and it also meant we only had to gather ourselves free extra with the five we had got from the night before which is very very good so i dug away up to the surface and came out under the water here and luckily it was night time so after marking where the ender portal was by using this tower here and also saving the coordinates i went out to the nearby plains biome and got killing some endermen and it didn't take long whatsoever i killed one two three four and then finally five endermen and we got all the pearls we need and look how much my diamond armor has been damaged from this that's kind of crazy my sword as well is not lasting a long time my iron sword barely lasts a long time but my diamond sword is already down to half but look ender portal is lit didn't really make a sound kind of weird but i thought you know what before we go kill the ender dragon let's head home let's cook some more food let's enchant our diamond chest plate with all the enchantments we got we got protection too which is bloody awful let's sleep and then let's head back out and go to the portal and kill that ender dragon so i turned up at the portal i've got some blocks to build across i've got some arrows i'm ready i've killed the ender dragon so many times recently that this is really not that scary the platform i spawned into is absolutely miles away so i have to start bridging across instantly and um yeah watch what happens here Yep, that's it. I'm dead. There's nothing more I can do. This is my live reaction. What? 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 I'm in disbelief. What? That's it. The world's gone. I didn't make a backup. 
Well, you know I didn't cheat in this video because, oh my gosh. What? What? That's insane. That is insane. Watching this back, I think the only thing that would have been able to save me is ender pearls. Like... Even that might have not worked, to be honest, because I fell so quickly. But what was I meant to do here? Like, literally, I spawned on the furthest platform away. That dragon came for me straight away and just instantly knocked me off. There's no stopping that. There's literally no stopping that. Now, people are probably going to say, Joel, why did you not research what the Ender Dragon was like in version 1.0? But the whole point of this video was for no research to go on whatsoever and just to go in blind. And yep, I paid the consequences. It killed me and the world got deleted. There was no spectate option. It's gone. Like, completely gone. I have no idea if there was a way to get this back. I'm kind of sad it's over, but at the same time, relieved to not have to play this horrible version so much more. If you're nostalgic for old Minecraft... Don't be. We have it so good now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like and comment. And I shall see you another time. Good. Bye.